Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jessie. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe below. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my beauty secrets. So if you want to check that out, then keep on watching. So the first beauty secret that I'm going to talk about is hair and how I keep my hair long and healthy and all of those things. So pretty much the first thing to know is that I don't wash my hair every single day. I don't even wash it every other day. I wash it usually two to three times a week and I will um, style it. I'll wash it and style it and then I'll just leave it for however long. And I kind of, what I, how I manage to do that is by using dry shampoo. These are my two favorites. I've loved these for a long time. This one is more drugstore. This is um, Batiste dry shampoo. So I'll just like, I'll wash my hair, style it, and then, you know, a few days in, if your hair's like, you work out or your hair's just getting greasy or whatever, just spray some of this in and it'll keep your style longer. Another thing that I use is the Bumble and Bumble um, Pret a Powder. It's like, um, it's like a dry shampoo, it's like a powder. Um, and I'll put this on my hair and kind of just like zhuzh it in my hair. Um, and this also, will keep your style looking good. It'll keep your hair with a lot of volume and it'll just make your hair look fresh and clean even though you haven't washed it in Lord knows how long. So um, that's what I do with my hair. I do not wash it every night. That's a tip that will definitely help your hair grow longer. That'll help your hair stay healthy because you're not constantly stripping the oils out of your hair. The next beauty secret is to keep your ends looking good because a few days after you know you washed your hair, your the ends are starting to look a little bit dry or just not as shiny and healthy. So, oil. This is the um, oil that I use, um, the Way um, Hair Care Hair Oil. Um, there's a lot of hair oils that you could use, but yes, I will just put a few pumps in my hair and keep it on the ends of my hair to keep it looking healthy. And it also helps, um, you know, kind of soothe the ends of your hair, just making them, you know, moisturized and healthy, just like you moisturize your body, you wanna moisturize your hair. Another thing is um, when I am styling my hair, before I style my hair, I go in with a heat protectant. So this is the Bumble and Bumble um, Invisible Oil Heat Protectant. So after I shower or, you know, wet or dry hair, I'll put this in before I go in and style my hair. This again will help, you know, keep your hair strong and healthy and it will keep the ends um, from breaking and um, all those kind of things. So definitely having a heat protectant is a great hair beauty secret. Another thing that I think is a hair beauty secret is uh, my tangle teaser. I've used one of these for so long. Um, I have a lot of hair, it's thick, but each piece is pretty fine, so it does, my hair does tangle super easily, um, and this helps making brushing your hair a lot easier um, and a lot better for your hair. Um, just the way the bristles are shaped and um, it just glides through your hair a lot easier and it stops, you know, stops breakage and all those kinds of things. So it's a great hairbrush, really inexpensive and I love this one. So um, as far as when it comes to washing my hair, um, again, like I said, I don't wash it every day. So probably tw twice a week is when I wash my hair. So before I wash my hair, I will go in with some coconut oil and I will either leave this in um, overnight or I will just leave it on for an hour. Um, and I will coat my whole hair in this and I will you know, either leave it in an hour or overnight, like I said. Um, and then I will wash it out with um, any, really any shampoo and conditioner. I do like Garnier Fructis, I like um, Pantene, just really anything is fine, um, but definitely coconut oil will keep your hair long and strong and healthy and it is a great hair mask um, really inexpensive and you can get a huge thing like this and you've got hair masks for the rest of the year so when I am in the shower um, I use like I said really any kind of shampoo and conditioner is fine with me 
um, but something to kind of amp up my hair. I don't dye my hair, but I do use the John Frieda Go Blonder um, shampoo and conditioner. This is with like lemon and chamomile, which kind of just like brighten your hair up. Um, they have these for red hair and brunette hair. So um, this is just the one for blonde hair, but it does kind of just like make the color of your hair brighter. You can use this if your hair's natural or dyed or whatever, but um, this just kind of keeps my hair looking brighter and more blonde. So I use that as well as the Not Your Mother's Purple Shampoo. Um, and a lot of you know what purple shampoo is for, um, but I use it for brightening my hair. Um, some people, like if you dye your hair and it's looking brassy or whatever, you want to kind of make it look brighter and you know, whatever. So I use this and it does brighten my hair up and make it look, um, you know, just more blonde again. So I will use those when I go in and wash my hair. So the next thing that I'm going to be talking about is skin and skincare beauty secrets. So I already showed you guys, you know, my everyday makeup routine, but when you're done with your day and you're ready to go to bed, you definitely want to take your makeup off. That is a huge beauty secret. Um, and the things that I use are from Simple. I use their makeup removing wipes for my face makeup and their micellar water for my eye makeup. It's really important. It's a great beauty secret to keep your skin looking clear um, and getting all the makeup, dirt, oil, all that stuff off of your face. Every night, super important, take your makeup off. Now, um, after your makeup is off, what I do again every single night and morning is wash my face. Um, I use my Clarisonic and my Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. It's really important to use, um, you know, a face wash that works for you. But again, I do think that a super nice light, like my dermatologist recommended this, um, it doesn't have anything that will clog your pores or dry your skin out or anything like that. So it's important to use one. This will work for pretty much any skin type, but finding again, products that work for you. Um, and my Clarisonic to really, you know, clean out your pores, get your makeup off, clean your skin. This is important. Great beauty secret. If you want clear skin, um, and going along with the Cetaphil, um, cleanser, I go in with my daytime or nighttime Cetaphil, um, moisturizers. So my, my beauty secret for a daytime moisturizer is definitely find one with SPF in it. It's important, um, to put SPF on every day. Um, that's a great beauty secret. And then for nighttime, um, I use a really rich, this one's really rich and thick, um, hydrated night cream. So these will keep your skin hydrated, moisturized, use youthful, all of those things. Um, so moisturizer is another really big beauty secret. Okay. So I've gotten my makeup off and I've cleaned my face. So, uh, those are pretty much my everyday things. That's pretty much my routine every night, but now on more special occasions, um, you know, maybe you're having like a spa night or whatever, and you really want to um, exfoliate your skin. Um, I have, this is just personally for me, depending on your skin type, again, you might want to adjust, but I have dry sensitive skin, so I don't want to use an abrasive um, exfoliator. So I go in with the Peter Thomas Roth gel exfoliator. This, um, it's like a peeling gel. Um, it really does um, wonders for your skin. So I don't go in with this all the time, maybe, you know, every other week or something like that to just kind of push away the dead skin. It is like a gel. There's nothing that's going to strip away oils. It's not going to, you know, it's not going to like be too abrasive or break your skin out super light. Um, and it just kind of pretty much pushes away all the dead skin. And that is a great, um, it's a great exfoliant for uh, people with dry skin or with sensitive skin. That is a great one. So um, going along kind of with more of a spa routine or more of a special night where you just kind of want to really give your skin some TLC, I go in with the Biore or Biore, whatever it's called, um, charcoal pore strips. They have a ton of these. You can find them um, at the drugstore. 
and I will go in with these um, to kind of just you pretty much you take one of these out you wet your nose and you put um, the strip on and um, when you pull it out you pull out all the um, you know all the dead skin all the clogged pores everything like that it's a great beauty secret um, your skin will look super smooth and um, clean and all the thing the things you want um, so another thing um, I don't go in with um, like a harsh you know anti acne like face wash or face lotion it just really dries your skin out um, for me it doesn't work for me um, but what does work and I know a lot of people love this is the Mario Badescu drying lotion this is great for acne spots so you just dip a little q-tip into the pink stuff you're not supposed to shake it even though I'm shaking it right now but you just dip the q-tip in the into the pink that stuff stuff on the bottom and um, you put it on you know any spots or breakouts that you have and really they will go away in like one if not two days like tops um, this is amazing it really just dries out the spot um, and it doesn't dry out your whole face so put on the spots you need sleep wake up and wash your face and it will go away the breakouts will go away within you know one to two days honestly um, and so another thing I've kind of talked about um, you know skin and all that kind of stuff but as far as eyelashes and eyebrows we all want them to be full and long and, and healthy and voluminous and all that kind of stuff. Um, and there are a lot of different serums and things like that that um, um, are good for your um, growing your eyebrows and eyelashes out. But I did some research and something that is very natural and good for you um, and for lash and brow growth is castor oil. So I just found this on Amazon. Um, and it comes like this. It's kind of like a mascara wand. You dip it into the castor oil and I just brush it on my eyebrows and my eyelashes and I go to sleep and when I wake up I just wash it off. But this has really made my eyelashes and eyebrows so much longer, so much thicker. Um, it has been a great beauty secret. So I definitely recommend this um, for those of you who want longer eyelashes and fuller eyebrows. Now, as far as lips, they're part of your face, part of your skin, all that kind of stuff. Um, I use this probably once a week as an exfoliant for my lips. Um, is the Fresh Sugar Lip Scrub. Um, I'll just go in with this and, um, you know, scrub any of the dead skin off your lips. Um, and it'll make your lips plump and soft and look amazing. So after that, I will go in with... One of these, um, these are my favorite like lip balm, lip mask type things. They're really thick, hydrating, the Fresh Sugar Coconut Lip Balm and the um, Bite Agave Lip Mask. Um, before bed, I will exfoliate and then go in with these. So um, they're really great and you will wake up with really plump, hydrated, moisturized lips, which who doesn't want that? Um, and so lastly for um, beauty secrets is these puppies. So these are the Crest white white strips, whitening white strips. Um, these are great, a great beauty secret if you want um, that just that extra boost. You know, we know to brush our teeth and floss and all that stuff. But um, this is kind of just giving you, you do this, I don't know, like once a month maybe um, to really just give you an extra bright white smile, which... We all want um so that is it for my beauty secrets okay guys that's it for my beauty secrets video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe learned something and if you guys have any beauty secrets you'd like to share you can let me know in the comments below and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye